And hello again, hello again. My name is Helmut, I'm the founder of Host Maria, and welcome to another tutorial of ours. And in this case, this will be a very short video on how to create a PHP file and check the PHP uh, configurations using your browser. So let us start jumping. As you might remember from previous videos, we have a we have a demo account or demo account created under so at host Maria using the domain mariahost.com. It is a blank domain. And let us say, let us say you would want to go and check the PHP configuration settings. You want to see what what is uh what configurations have you got on the cloud so what do you do and if you are watching this video and you are not using our our cloud don't worry uh most most hosting dashboards will be the same so what do you need to do uh so for host maria users of course you need to go to stackcp.com uh your username as your email address and enter your password and in your here you are this will be your dashboard of course so you will go to file manager You'll go to file manager then this this task is very very simple so i will remove i'll remove this one so we can see that we remember that our let me open once again we jump quickly back in so we remember that our domains are up here and so Maria host is the primary domain and the document root the, or the main place where the, all the files are is public HTML. So in this case, we would go to public HTML. If we would check uh, under the domain uh, mariahost2.com, then we would go to folder Maria2. In this case, our, our domain is mariahost, mariahost.com. And so we will be checking, checking the PHP setting using this domain. It doesn't matter which domain you're using. So, so it is smarter to use the primary domain. So up here, so we have created the user in a file before, and now what we'll do next. So we are going either, either here or so new file, and you would call it PHP info dot PHP. Uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, people suggest or some companies or people suggest to call it info dot PHP. Though it is, I would I would personally prefer to say it PHP info dot PHP. So you would do create or create an open so once the file so is created don't worry it will be a very very simple task there are only three lines so now we have php info code editor we are opening it okay let me zoom in so the first line let me put it on the screen the first line is only this so please follow me php that's it the next line is like this. Just, just repeat it. Yes. HP info open and close. And the third line. Let us finish everything. Sorry. And save. That's it. All three lines. So one, two, three. All these three lines will be uh, will be put in the description area of this video. So now what we are doing is so we have php info.php. So we are going here. here you go. And this is the easy way. And you would go to your main domain name, just do slash php in the php info.php. And now you can see everything, everything, all the PHP settings. You would see lots and lots of information. Why would you need that? Why would you need that? Uh, in in some cases, in some cases, when you are running some new CMSs or running some installations that have very very specific PHP requirements, then you can go and check it. Sometimes, when you are trying to change your PHP version and PHP version is not changing and you are not sure which PHP version you are using, you would create this PHP info dot, uh, dot PHP file. So there are many uses for that. I really hope that this helps you and this was a short 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 video on how to create a simple php info php php info file and check it using your browser so see web development or web designing is, is quite simple have a good day